Hey guys, so as the title of this video indicates, today we're going to be talking about how you can decorate your planner while you are on a budget. Some of you may be sitting there like, wait, hold up Holly, I've seen your Etsy sticker hauls, I know you don't plan on a budget, which is a totally fair criticism. But I have been planning for a long time, back before I even knew about YouTube and Plan With Me's and Etsy stickers, and even back then I always enjoyed trying to make my planner look, quote, pretty. And here on YouTube, I've tried out a few fun different techniques to plan on a budget that I'll talk about as well. And before we dive in, obviously the most budget way to plan is with a black pen and paper. But personally, I've found that having a pretty planner actually really helps me to stick to my plans and commitments better. If my planner looks nice, I want to look at it more and I'll see all the reminders I've written to myself. And if I've taken the time to put something down in my planner with special handwriting or use in wa your used washi to make it look nice, I don't want to have to cross it out later. So in addition to just looking nice and being a fun hobby I enjoy, I do find that there's a functional element to planner decoration as well. So with all of that being said, let's get into the video. Um, on the first half, I'll go through my tips and tricks for decorating your planner without any Etsy stickers at all. And then the second half will be focused on how to buy wisely from Etsy and maximize your sticker budget. So number one, the easiest way to decorate your planner and most basic, I think, is just to use colorful pens. This is my original method of decorating my planner on a budget from way back in my school days. I assigned each of my different classes and activities a color, and then I used that color throughout my planner to represent anything associated with that activity. Uh, personally, I found this really helped me stay organized while still making my planner look really bright and cute. Uh, currently, my favorite colorful pens to use are the Papermate Inkjoy Gels, which are available at Target and other stores. Number two, once you have your fun, colorful pens, try to master fancy lettering or doing little creative doodles. There are tons of tutorials on YouTube and the internet in general on how to improve your hand lettering and drawing. And if you feel like you aren't creative enough, trust me, all it takes is practice. I am not naturally artistic in the least, but I've been able to improve through practice and following what other people are demonstrating kind of when I watch videos. I personally find it very soothing to sit for a bit and watch YouTube videos and practice my hand lettering. It makes even the most ba basic spreads look so fancy if you can draw like a cute little glass of wine next to your happy hour plans or maybe use a fun font that you came up with to mark a big event down. My number three tip is to purchase some washi. In case you are unfamiliar, washi is basically like masking tape that has pretty designs printed on it. You can use it for a bunch of different stuff, but I like using it to decorate my planner. I've done an entire spread here on my YouTube channel, currently linked on the screen, that only features washi and colorful pens. No stickers at all. You can buy washi at a lot of different places like Target or Etsy, but my personal favorite I think are from the Recollections brand at Michael's. We'll talk a little bit later about how you can coupon at Michael's to make their washi even more affordable, but they have a really good selection with really pretty prints. My number four tip is to try making your own stickers. You can do this two ways. You can either design the stickers yourself or find free printable stickers online. I've seen some in like Erin Condren Facebook groups and things like that. And then in both cases, you can either print those stickers at home on label or sticker paper, or you can send them to your local Kinko's and have them print them on sticker paper. You'll have to cut the stickers out yourself, but it can be a great way to, to use stickers without paying Etsy prices. I personally do not have any experience designing or printing my own stickers, but I know there are plenty of tutorials on the internet that can help you out. My final tip for planning without any Etsy stickers is to instead buy stickers at places like Michael's or other craft stores. They have different stickers like those from the Mombi Happy Planner collection or their seasonal holiday stickers that they sell as well. I've done a ton of spreads featuring only stickers and washi you can find at Michael's, and a few are linked on the screen now. I'll have my full playlist in Michael's videos below. Just as a side note guys, this video or anything on my channel is not sponsored by Michael's in any way, shape, or form. They just happen to be the craft store that's closest to me, and I just feel like I've mastered the couponing strategy there as well, and I'm familiar with what they offer. Um, but if you are a frequent patron of another craft store and a coupon master there, please comment below and let us all know your tips. 
So when you are buying from Michaels, the two big things are to always Google for a coupon and to sign up for their email and rewards programs to get even more coupons. They will let you use multiple coupons in a single purchase if they are different. So most weeks you'll see that they have 40 to 50% off one single item coupons, which you can find on their website. You can just show the coupon on your phone to the cashier when you check out. These are great for buying slightly more expensive items like a big tube of washi or the larger Happy Planner sticker packs. For example, this tube of washi I'm showing was originally $20 at Michael's, but I bought it with a 50% off coupon, so it was $10 for 14 rolls of washi. In addition to those coupons, you can also use any that you get in an email from their rewards program or any you get in the post office mail as well, as long as they are different. Uh, sometimes Michael will offer a 50% off all recollections washi coupon or 50% off planner supplies or things like that. So be on the look for those too. And sometimes those are like one day deals. So if you have time, run to your Michaels. If you want to buy a bunch of little things like several $3 sticker packs, it is often better to wait for a X percent off everything coupon. Those aren't as frequent I've found, but when they do happen, they'll let you take about 20 to 30% off your entire purchase. I find those aren't as useful for me because I tend to be looking for like one tube of washi or one sticker pack. Um, so I'll use the single off coupons. Um, but if you're there to buy like several smaller packs of stickers or rolls of washi at one in one purchase, the math might work out better to use one of those. I did just want to mention one thing. Uh, stickers like those from Mombies or at Michaels are able to be more affordable because they are mass produced, of course. So one thing to keep in mind is that when you buy from Etsy, you're supporting a small, often woman owned business where they're hand making your stickers and thus aren't able to reduce costs as much. So absolutely, if you're on a budget, go with the Happy Planner stickers and the Michaels stickers and use your big box stickers from craft stores. But if you do decide to purchase from Etsy, you can at least know that you're supporting a small business, which I personally think is awesome. So with that being said, let's get on to my tips for maximizing your dollars from Etsy sticker shops. Okay, so I think my top tip for buying from Etsy or other sticker shops is to always follow shops on Instagram, join their Facebook groups, and wait for a coupon code. I cannot emphasize this enough. Every shop has sales, truly, even the big ones. You just need to catch them at the right time. So fill up your Etsy cart with all you want, but never buy without a coupon code. Several have low, a low percentage off codes, like 10 to 15% off, listed right in their bio or in the description box of their YouTube videos. Also be sure to check the YouTube description box of your favorite YouTubers, myself not included, uh, because they often have discount codes from shops that they can share there. But in general, I really try to wait for a better code that's like 20% off or more, especially when what I'm buying isn't limited stock or seasonal. If there's a holiday right around the corner, wait for sure. Shops love having sales on holidays and they post them on their Instagram page. Turn on post notifications for your favorite shop so that you don't miss a flash sale. I've seen super quick flash sales as fast as 10 minutes. So fill up your Etsy cart, follow your favorite shops, but wait for that coupon code till you purchase. Number seven is related to the last one, but in addition to coupon codes, lots of shops also do different deals on a weekly basis to participate in these different social media sales. I think the most popular deal is $2 Tuesday, where lots of shop, shops offer different sheets of stickers each week that are only $2. I've also seen full kit or $5 Friday, which is deals on Friday or Wednesday on a Wednesday when there's Wednesday deals. In general, just try to figure out which of these special days that the shop you wanna buy from participates in, then wait for those days to see if the stickers you want are on sale. Again, shops post these deals on their social media accounts, so follow them and turn on post notifications if you're interested. My number eight tip is to figure out some individual sheets that could add pizzazz to your spreads before diving into purchasing a full Etsy sticker kit. Lots of Etsy shops do sell individual sheets in addition to their regular, you know, full weekly kits. Examples of these types of individual sheets are things like multicolor icon sheets. 
For example, I work out a lot and I always like to put my workout plans down in my planner. So fairly early on, I bought some multicolor workout icon sheets to go along with my different types of workouts so that when I wanna mark something, I have the right icon for it and it adds an extra pop of color. Or maybe you're the type of person that just loves to check things off on a list and want a really functional, organized looking planner. Buy a few sheets of multicolor heart checklists and some multicolor headers and you'll be set for an entire month. You can pull in coordinating washi to make a full spread just from having those few small sheets of stickers. Another idea is to buy a single decoration or deco sheet and pull them in to accent your handwritten spreads and make them look even prettier. The point is to buy a just a few sheets of stickers that you could spread out using over several weeks as opposed to just buying one kit that will only last a week. My number nine tip is to buy misfit grab bags from Etsy sticker shops. Lock, lots of sticker shops do these. Basically what happens is when they, they have miscut sheets or stickers with an ink smudge or some other minor imperfection, shops save all of these up and release them as limited misfit grab bags. Often most of the stickers on the sheets are completely usable, but there might be like one ink smudge or something on just one sticker on the sheet. If you don't mind the minor imperfections, it's a great way to try out Etsy stickers at a redu reduced cost. Most sticker shops announce these grab bag sales through their Instagram and Facebook accounts. So once again, turn those post notifications on for ones you're interested in. My number 10 tip is just in general, make sure you try to figure out, get a sense for what types of sticker shops tend to be more affordable versus more expensive. I'm not going to give specific shop recommendations for affordable stickers in this video because I found price and shop style can really change fairly frequently, but I'll share a few um, kind of general things that I've learned. I've personally found that basic matte stickers tend to be more affordable than glossy or vinyl stickers, although there's certainly a price variety in each bucket. I've also found that shops that draw their own designs as opposed to buying clip art tend to be more affordable because they don't have to pay licensing fees. Also, take advantage of the strong American dollar if you live in the U.S. If you don't mind waiting a bit for shipping, there are some great Canadian and other international shops with extra affordable stickers due to the favorable ex and my final tip for when buying from Etsy is to use Ebates. I'm always surprised how little this is talked about in the planning community. Ebates is a totally legitimate cashback program to shop online. You should be using it for all your online purchases for sure. Your cashback is based on a percentage of the cost and is distributed to you monthly. You can get it into your PayPal account or sent to you as a check. And for us sticker lovers, um, Etsy is on Ebates. It often is only like 1% cash back, but I find that every little bit helps. And sometimes you can catch it at a higher percentage. All you have to do is to click through their site when you want to go check out with your Etsy cart. I do have a referral link down below that will get you an extra $10 back on your first payout. But even if you don't use that, definitely sign up for Ebates and use it to place your Etsy orders. Okay guys, those are my 11 tips for making the most of your planner decoration budget. I know some of these may not be news to you, but I hope at least a few were new and helpful. Obviously, all of this is only based on my personal experience, so please feel free to share your tips and tricks below in the comments so that we can all benefit from them. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and definitely subscribe to see future planning on a budget kind of decoration ideas for your planner. So thank you guys for watching and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.